Hello, in this uh, presentation I'm going to talk about how to describe slope of a line. As you know, slope, that's your steepness of a line, right? And that's equal to rise over run, or it's your, you know, rise over run, your change in y over change in x. And we've done some work on this in class, so you should know that slope is just your steepness of your line. And it's, there's basically four, four, way, four ways to describe your slope. Draw a better line than that. All right. That's your y. That's your x, right? So you could have a slope that goes like this, right? Well, if you think about this, and you're a little person here, and you're walking across the page the same way that you would read, which would be from left to right, if you're going uphill, if you walk... If you walk uphill, that's a positive slope. So, so if you're walking uphill, it's a positive slope. If you're if your line is going downhill, forget about this right here. If it's going down, so that if you're walking on it, and you're walking, the, you know that you know, and, and you're walking the way that you read from left to right, so you're walking downhill. Gives you a negative slope. So positive slope is going up. Negative slope is going down from left to right, just like you would if you're reading. Couple other options here. Let's say it's flat. Pretend like it's a flat line. Say so if you're walking across a a flat line, you know, like the, you know, the floor of your schoolroom, house, whatever. There's no stairs, but you're just walking down a hallway. Are you going up or down? Neither, right? If they built it right, you're you're neither going up or down. If you're not going up or down, your slope is zero. And then, so we've talked about positive slopes, right? Your, your lines go up. Talk about negative lines go down. We just discussed zero slopes, which are horizontal lines. The last slope that we want to talk about would be a vertical, right? And this is undefined. And you just kind of got to remember this, you know, this is like if you're falling off a cliff. It's a cliff, right? That you've fallen off. Well, it's an undefined slope because there is nothing to, to lessen your fall, right? Nothing. You just won't fall. Hit the ground. Go splat right down here. Hit you after you fall. So you know, with the zero slope, you're you're not going to fall up off a cliff, right? You're not going up or down, so that's zero. Here, you know, you're not going to fall off because you're walking up here. Here, you know, you could trip, right? But that's going to kind of slow you down, maybe. But if you got nothing to slow you down. And you're just going to fall off. It's just an undefined slope. That means there's there's not one. It's a vertical line. And by the way, this is not a function. Got a right here. You'll see this a lot. That's 
ask you if this is a function. No, that's not a function. These are functions. So that's a little extra information. And that's uh, basically how you describe your slope. If your line rises from left to right, it's positive. If your line falls from left to right, it's negative. If it's a horizontal line, it's zero. If it's a vertical line, it's undefined. Hope this helps. Have fun.